Hello everyone, Jessica here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing around with the new Simon Says Stamp July 2018 monthly card kit. So the first thing I'm going to do is smear some Distress Oxide ink and Salty Ocean onto my glass media mat. And this is going to be a faux water color background. I'm just using Distress Oxide though for it because it's quick and easy. I spritzed it with some water. I'm going to push this Canson watercolor cardstock into it. And you can see it picks up and it really picks up the ink very nicely. And then I can keep dipping it back into it to get the coverage that I want. I wanted to leave some white space around the edges. I cut it down with a stitch die. And then I'm going to start ink blending on this piece of 80 pound Nina cardstock that I had used a, another stitch die to cut with. And all the products that I use are listed down below and on my blog. But I'm using this new to me MFT radiating rays stencil and ink blending with some squeezed lemonade distress ink and look how that turns out. It's just, it's gorgeous. I love stencils. They're, I think they're my new favorite. I'm going to peel off that stencil and then twist it just a little so that I can get a bit of an offset for this twisted citron ink that I'm going to blend onto it. And I only want to blend part of this stencil with the green. So I'm gonna use some washi tape just as a guideline so I don't go over. So I used to get these monthly card kits a couple years ago, a year ago, something like that. I just stopped getting them, but the ones lately have been pretty fun looking and they come with a lot of different things. So I wanted to start using them again. If you like seeing unboxing videos. I know sometimes it can be a little oversaturated with the monthly card kit unboxing videos, but if you'd like to see that style of video from me, let me know and I will possibly start doing that. Also, let me know in the comments below if you enjoy getting card kits and which ones do you get? Um, I've always kind of gone on Simon Says Stamp, but I know there's a lot of different companies that have card kits out there, so let me know what you like. This stamp set from the Simon Says Stamp Monthly Card Kit, the July 2018 one, has a really cool little pineapple, and I'm going to stamp that one with Simon Says Stamp ink, and this is onto a piece of 80 pound cardstock from Nina. And I'm also going to stamp the sunglasses. Now I'm going to do some Copic coloring on the pineapple. And I'm just taking some light yellow and then I'm gonna blend on some dark yellow right where the lines are and where the stem for the crown of the pineapple is. I'm gonna use some light yellow greens and then blend into the dark greens on that crown. This is just really quick, easy Copic coloring, nothing too precise. This is a pretty small stamp, so, and I did use a BO2 pen for those sunglasses to shade them in. And now I'm going to fussy cut them out because these kits don't normally come with dies. This one does come with a die, but it's just for the flamingo stamp, so. Now I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment on the lower part where the green radiating rays are. And I'm using VersaFine and clear embossing powder to achieve the black glossy look. I'm gonna heat set that with my heat gun. And I've been letting that warm up to get it good and hot before I take it to that cardstock, which prevents a lot of warping. I wanted the crown just a little bit deeper green, so I'm going over with a darker green 
And then I wanted the sunglasses to have a gloss shine to them, so I'm gonna coat them in glossy accents. I set those aside and I was really good about not touching them while they dried, but right towards the end of the card, <laughs> I dropped something, something else went flying, it was a whole thing, and they got knocked off and then they fell straight onto like a little post-it tablet thing that I have, but they were mostly dried, so not a whole lot of that glossy accents was disturbed, and you probably can't even tell. I don't know why I'm telling you then, but because now you know, but you can't tell. I don't think anyways. <laughs> Things happen, especially with stuff that has to dry so long. All right, anyways, getting back to the card. So I have taken a piece of fog light gray cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, and I just cut it to A2 and fit it onto a Nina card base. And that's going to cover the whole front panel. I'm going to layer the Salty Ocean faux watercolor piece that I had cut out with the die cut and layer that over the top. And now I'm taking a piece of white fun foam using my Tombow glue to smear it all over, get a good even coat, and then I can lay that radiating rays piece that I ink blended on top of that. I did the same for the other side of the white foam so I could adhere it to the salty ocean. And then I cut out a piece of island blue cardstock. This color also came in the monthly card kit. This is with a stitch circle die. I'm going to place that right in the center. I'm going to use my ATG gun to adhere the pineapple onto that blue circle in the middle. I love how that that stencil just focuses your eye right onto that pineapple. I wanted to add just a little texture to the crowns with a Prismacolor white pencil. And then I add little white highlights to the pointy parts of the pineapple. I don't know what those are called, but they're kind of pointy. <laughs> and then I'm going to add the sequins. Sorry, my remote got in the way. I didn't realize that was there but just ignore that and these sequins did come with the Simon Says Stamp monthly card kit also. What I like to do is just take a bunch of sequins and then kind of dump them or kind of drop them all over the panel that I want to put them on and that'll give me like a guideline on where to stick them. I can remove ones that I don't want or ones that are covering places that I don't want to be there. And now I'm going to take those sunglasses and using a Nouveau glue pen, this is a new glue pen to me, it's, it's okay, I don't mind it. I'm going to stick those sunglasses right onto the pineapple and it just makes them look super cute because the sentiment says you're one cool pineapple so you got to have sunglasses, right? For the inside I'm going to do a quick on stamp ink blending with the Distress inks, the same colors I used on the front of the card. And I stamped the base of the pineapple in yellow and then the crown part in green. I did stamp that a couple times too, you can kind of see that it is darker. And then I'm going to stamp the sunglasses on this pineapple also using Smoke Gray Simon's Stamp ink. That's kind of my go-to ink for insides of cards it's bold but it's not too bold and there you have it the inside of the card keeping it simple and that outside with all that rating rays I love it this was such a fun kit and I hope that you enjoyed this there will be more to come using this kit I hope you enjoyed today's video. You can connect with me on Instagram or email me directly or comment below with any questions you might have about card making. I will always do my best to help. All the products I use today are linked on my blog and help support new products and supplies for this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see the latest videos from me. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Meh, meh.